Hi, I'm Stacey McKenzie from Walk This Way Workshops, and you're watching CityLifeTV.ca. I didn't have a happy childhood, not really. I was always teased, constantly teased. My mother, or my, my mom used to pretend that I was a doll because people, people would always, like before when they realized that she had a baby, like as clear, like as, uh, like, uh, as, like my complexion was so, you know, light and my hair is so blonde. They thought she was crazy, so you know, first they thought she was crazy, and then on top of that, they used to um, make fun of, you know, make make fun of me as a baby. So she, what she did was she she pretended that she was carrying a doll, and she she started she would act like like you know a little bit like you know okay she's crazy so she's just carrying a doll. So that was her way of like you know like having people not say anything about me. You know, it was more so on her, so she was protecting me. It was it was a tough childhood, and then when I came to Canada, it was even tougher because I thought, you know, okay, well, there's light-skinned girls here, there's white girls here, you know, maybe I could like fit in a little bit more so than in my country. But it wasn't the case, it was extremely tough here as well. I had a lot of people putting me down, saying the same things basically, just in, a, just in proper English. <laughs> it was really tough. I realized that I have the one vessel that I need to work with, that I'm working with. This is what I look like, this is who I am. Once I accepted me, once I loved me, once I owned me, then it was like, okay, whatever. Any, no matter what anybody says, you know, it, 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 I, just, I just kept on moving because I just felt like, not felt, for me it was, it was all about like, you know, me owning who I am first and foremost because in the beginning I wasn't owning who I, who I was. I was trying to fit in. You know, when I was getting a lot of naysayers telling me that, um, you know, oh well, you need to straighten your hair, or you need to hide your freckles, or your nose need to be straighter, and your lips need to be smaller, I used to try to, you know, conform to fit in. Once I stopped doing that, and I owned who I was, I owned Stacy McKenzie, like, nothing, nothing mattered. That gave me the drive, along with my mom, like, also pushing me, telling me, you know what, Stacy, don't let anybody make you feel less of who you are. But really, what gave me the drive was I decided to love me and own me. You know, it's, I, 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 I always get emotional for that. It's just, you know, hearing people tell you constantly, you know, friends, family, you're not beautiful, you can never be, you will never be. You know, it's not a good feeling, right? You know, it makes you feel less of yourself. So then when you come across that one person who, you know, just off the bat, you know, sees you and just accepts you for who you are, you know, it's the best. And when he did that, it was just, it helped me a lot. It helped me to accept me. 